Welcome back to my Thanksgiving series. I made some honey cornbread. Y'all, I followed the John Nice recipe. If you don't follow John Nice, I don't know what to tell you. These are all the ingredients that I use to make my homemade cornbread. So I started off with two cups of cornmeal. So I don't have her cookbook. I know I got to get your cookbook, girl. So I was just going off of what I thought. And this was like um, one third of baking soda, one third of baking powder. And what else? A pinch of salt. Y'all didn't use that much salt. I was like, hold on. No, no, no. A pinch of salt. And then I used a half a cup of sugar. I should have used self-rising flour, but I didn't have any. So I used the all-purpose flour because I feel like it's going to do the same thing. And I mean, kind of worked out. So whatever. Give you a dry batter a mix. And because I used two cups of the cornmeal, I am using three eggs because she likes her corn bit like fluffy and stuff like that, like cake-like. And I do too. So I used three eggs. And then I added some vanilla extract, no measurement on that, just whatever. And then some, so I used a cup and a half of this buttermilk, y'all. But you got to get it to the texture you like. So again, I don't know exact measurements, but that's just what I use. And so I was like, yeah, I need some more milk. And then to make it sweeter, I added some condensed milk as well. Um, no measurements on that, just, you know, however much you want because you need it to be sweet because cornmeal is bitter, like, so you got to sweeten that up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I did that and I gave it a good mixy mix. And that's the texture that I want. This was a 8 by, ooh, I don't know. Y'all know the long dish or whatever. And I added some honey. Give your pan a butter coat. You can either do a stick of butter or you can use the pan, you know, um, the oil, whatever. But whatever you use, you have to butter your um, pan because your cornbread will stick. And then it gives it more flavor. Because we like flavor over here. So anyway, once you get it to the texture that you want, put it in the pan. Make sure it's like evenly spread it out. And then I preheated my oven to 350. So make sure your oven is preheated. And you leave it in there for 25 minutes. So you take it out and it should look like this after 25 minutes. I added the honey butter. All it is is literally melted butter and some honey. And then I added more honey because I like it moist. And this is how it came out, y'all. So it was good. I actually like it. This is another thing you can make for Thanksgiving. If you are in charge of bringing a dish and you want something quick and easy, what John and I say, yeah, that's bomb. Bye. <laughs>